Hi, my friends and family. It's so nice talking about marriage. And yeah, sometimes because we are from different backgrounds, guess what? Sometimes conflict is inevitable. We can't prevent it. It will come. You will definitely experience conflict in your marriage. To run away from conflict will keep you small. To work through conflict will bring tremendous growth. And we already said that we want to handle conflict the way that God wants us to handle this. The people that know me in South Africa, we farmed in a semi-desert area. And some people, it's, they call it part of the Kalahari. So you will know it's kind of like a dry, semi-arid or an arid area. And there's no open waters. So the only waters that you have is groundwater. And the first people that drilled those holes to, to get the water in the ground, they used drills with a hammer action. And then you had like to pay the contractor for each meter of depth that he went down with that drill. So the contractor soon realized, you know what, there's a certain rock phase. And the moment that you hit that rock, it's better to just pull up your equipment and, and go to somebody else. Otherwise, you can sit on that rock phase to go through that rock and take days and days because it can be several, only several inches for a whole day. So what happened in the early days most people only had shallow water, the water on top of that rock layer. But during the slightest drought, those boreholes, all of them, you can have 10 or 20, all of them will disappoint you. So you have to drill through that blue rock, that hard rock, so that you can reach that deep waters. That will not disappoint you. One of my friends, Arnu Klaassen, he used this example and he said that's exactly how conflict is supposed to be. We must have deep relationships. We must work through conflict. We must not always run away from it and try to pre prevent it because then our relationships will only be shallow. And many people, they only have shallow friends. They've never worked through conflict. The same in marriage. I've seen many people, the first time that they can't work through conflict, guess what? They run to person number two. And then person number two will disappoint them. And they will run to person number three. And eventually they will have person number four, five. And maybe they will just stay alone and just go from relationship to relationship because they live in like an illusionary environment where they think they one day going to meet somebody who, where there's, there's not going to be any conflict at all. God wants us to work through conflict. You and your marriage partner, if you work through that, that hard rock, Guess what? You will discover that living waters for your marriage. You will discover the depth in your wife. And your wife will discover the depth in you, people. And this is what God wants for us. God wants us to work through this blue rock so that people can see the, the waters, so that they can taste the waters in our marriage even in dry times, when they run out of water in dry times, that they can come to us and that we can give them some of this water to drink. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ and I bless you with deep relationships, relationships that will not disappoint, 
because I know I I almost said where this guy is staying, but one of my friends is a big rugby player and he had an accident and he ended up in a wheelchair and he had a lovely wife. But guess what? The moment that he ended up in that wheelchair, she left him like a hot potato. She left him in that wheelchair. She left him alone. Why? Because the relationship was shallow. I want you to experience such a deep relationship with your wife that you will be so one that you will love her for rich or for poor, in sickness, in health, all circumstances that you will love her and the other way around. And I bless you in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our only Lord and Savior.